It's the trap of the year, Mr. Trap Jesus himself, scarf for the plug. And yeah, I'm tuning in with the voice of the youth, Taco Talk TV. Let's get it. Taco Talk TV. There's nothing cool on Taco. Taco Talk TV. Taco Talk TV. Taco Talk TV. And young Jose. Rest in peace to swipe and YC. Taco Talks TV. Hey man, say man, thanks for pressing play, man. We tuned in with the motherfucking voice of the youth, Taco Talk TV, and, and your boy, the Scott. voice of the trap. Scott voice of the, the trap, you hear me? Scott for the plug. Yes, sir. From from Atlanta to DC. Facts. From Panola to DC, you hear me? Trap Panola to DC. My second home, man. I love DMV, man. Hell yeah, how you been, bro? Nah, well, last time we met, I think you was out in my hood. Now, yeah. you, now I'm here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Love and mutual, man. I'm not. Hell can't yeah. Complain. I love to see the, the, the travel, the distance, the, the relationship. Yeah, man. The I dedication. Yeah. It's a lot of support out here. So, how you how you liking it? Yeah, everything went perfect, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? I got some. I, everything we've been talking about doing, it came to manifest it, so I can't complain. You know yeah. So, I definitely appreciate the love that I'm getting out here. Hell yeah. I like that. I like that. And. I was thinking, I met you a couple of times already, but I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, I've like, really seen you grow from Facts. when I was in high school all the way up until now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a lot going on. I definitely want to get into the whole timeline. I know, like, we got a couple of couple of projects, a couple of shoots already, but this one, you know what I'm saying? Let's really go through the, yeah, the whole yeah, resume, really, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Give them the spill of what's been going on, man. Um, so talk about from, from all the way from New York. Let's start right there. You know I mean, that's saying? the beginning. Yeah. You talk about the beginning, you want a love story. Yeah, yeah, just a, Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, I was born in money earning, more burning, you dig what I'm saying? So that hustling shit been in my gene by my grandfather, and before him, his father, and you know what I'm saying? Down with my father. Yeah. Been, been nothing but hustlers. So come from money earning, more burning. My mom just wanted to get us out, wanted to get us away from Mount Vernon, could have turned it to Murderville, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Wish she took us from Mount Vernon and took us to New Orleans, so that shit wasn't no fucking better. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, all the way up to like, uh, I was back and forth from New Orleans to Atlanta because she had my mom, my mom dudes had some uh, hair salons and shit, she yeah. did hair and shit. And then anyway, my whole family full of entrepreneurs, never worked a job, never clocked in, so I yeah. get that shit from, so. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so I was just back and forth moving from New Orleans to Atlanta, it's different every other school year, basically. And then finally, at, uh, in high school, I got down, I came back to Atlanta. Yeah. Like, Let's, we stayed for good, you know what I'm saying? When you when you went to MLK, did you know that it was going to be turned like that? Because when you go through Atlanta and you hear everybody yeah. talk about MLK, I don't know what the album is, but I know it's like two or three. Yeah, facts. Yeah, so yeah, I went to MLK. So, I mean, like, I know, like, a lot of the buzzing artists, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I went to school with, you know what I'm saying, the Guap Tarantino, yeah. or Dino, uh, a lot of people that's in the NFL, yeah. and yeah, yeah, shit like that. You know, we had a lit football team, yeah. lit basketball, you know what I'm saying? We was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit was king of up. kept battle with the bands, or king of the half times, all yeah. that shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I definitely, you know what I'm saying, was blessed to get them put into that, 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 that mixture of the upcoming of New Atlanta. You Do you think, you think you would have been in the same position if you would have picked a different high school? I mean, I didn't have a choice, but I think it, it, I definitely put, think where I grew up at definitely played a role, and who yeah. I lived with showed it would definitely play a role who I am today because it solidified me in the yeah. streets and just legitimized my name. Yeah, hell yeah. And let's talk about from motherfucking Panola to the Canada. You know what I'm saying? Those relationships. How did that? How does that play into who you are today? Well, that's all. I mean, it's not. They're not too far from each other. Like, if you if you've been down there, you see yeah. how it's like a couple of exits away. So yeah. it's kind of like it's nearly you get there in like five or seven minutes. So, uh, the saying is like the young mall and them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even though we ain't go to high school, you know what I'm saying? The football game, you see them, shit yeah. like that. Like yeah. the little events, go to the Golden Gate. Yeah, it's yeah. an all from the same hood. So. You know what I'm saying? The respect the mutual. We real niggas recognize real niggas. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It was able to. Whenever we did run into each other, it was always all it's always all love. You know what I'm saying? The drug rich back then with drug when we was uh closer. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, all that shit played a role because because of how close in the area we we lived. You know what I'm saying? That's how we was able to mesh well with each other. What was that like before music? Those relationships. 
like just trap shit? Yeah, it was on some just street shit, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily like we didn't really re up with each other, like it wasn't yeah. no shit like we you know what I'm saying? We didn't juggle with each other like that. Niggas yeah. just know knew each other from what yeah. you done heard about the nigga yeah. or what you done seen. So you see his face, you yeah, know. Yeah, like, yeah, I know who he is, bro be over there yeah. doing his little ones and twos, you okay. know what I'm saying? Facts like it, it was always that. So when it was but you had to it was it was it was it was facts of what you hear about a nigga so that's the only reason why you respect the nigga because yeah. you know you know what i'm saying yeah. whatever yeah. hell yeah hey, look i was just somewhere right and it was talking about that respect shouldn't be given i mean it shouldn't be earned it should just be given how you feel no. about that respect definitely gotta be earned yeah and no nah, it's a it's a courtesy that you give to somebody that you don't know you know what i'm yeah. saying so you give a nigga you know what i'm saying courtesy or, or you know what i'm saying yeah. The, the 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 bare minimum. Yeah. But to actually respect too, him. Yeah, facts. But to actually respect the man, he gotta earn it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He gotta show that he's a that man. He deserved that. Yeah, Hell yeah. Facts. Cause look, they was talking about that and I'm like, damn, I can't even really I don't know what to say about this. Should I chime in? Should I just be quiet? Cause I know most of the shit that I be saying be controversial. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't gonna sit here and, and hear about it, whatever, whatever. But I think at the most part, what was the point in, in time where you saw your life change? Um, at one point I wanted to get out the streets, let me tell you about that. Yeah. yeah I almost got out the street with my homeboy, uh, a couple different times. My homeboy got, my homie got killed. Uh, my homie got killed, you know what I'm saying? I was young, real young, so you know what I'm saying? That kind of was traumatizing, but you know what I'm saying? I was, yeah, but it really, when I thought that it was going to turn straight and turn me away from the streets, it got me into the streets even more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It really pulled me even deeper. Yeah. When my only one K got killed, you know, got shot, my bad, he got shot. Yeah. One K ain't dead, man, shot out one K. Uh, my only one K got shot, you know what I'm saying? And they told us, if he, they told me and my little brother, you know what I'm saying, at 15 and 16, if he died, we're going to charge out with his murder because of the robbery gone wrong, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So little stuff like that was what really kind of made me uh get my head on more, you know what I'm saying? And it, it pulled me in deeper into the street that it learned. It taught me how to move smarter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The mistakes that I was, the mistakes yeah. turned into, you know what I'm saying? Eye openness. Yeah, I know a lot of people always go through and they talk about, they don't, um, most people don't never want to get out the streets and just teach you how to move smarter in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one way. It's only one way out the streets. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can get, unless you just, you can't, you can't, you just can't play, you can't have one foot in. So if you're either going to be in there or you're going to be out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of, and even that today, I'm still going through that, them lessons, even yeah. to this day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, trying to figure out if I want to be all the way a rapper or if I still, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm still yeah. doing what I want to do, play outside. So for people that, you know what I'm saying, there's no, you can't play both sides, man. Yeah. You need the industry, so you're not. And talk about that. Like, I like how you go through and you really, like, you teach lessons through yeah. the songs. You know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. just some shit that you're saying. It ain't just some words. It's, right. okay, if you pay attention, all right, look, let me go ahead and do this smarter. Let me yeah. project this play. How did you take it from street shit to, you know, morals, lessons, and really trying to push that and also getting your audience to fuck with that? Well, I believe there's real niggas all around the world, you know what I mean? So even if they not the ones that's being televised and the ones that's being publicized, they still out there. Yeah. And I was raised on morals. Yeah, hell yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I know how to speak. I can only give you what I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't fabricate nothing. I can't go and tell you I, ooh, 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 unless I've seen it. Did it or you know, third person, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be like first person seen it, saw it, touched it, ooh, ooh, ooh. like that's the only way I could really, like I said, God God is in the details. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't yeah. certain details that you can't do, you can't even speak on unless you even really unless you really did it or really seen it or really know yeah. what you're talking or about. Or you can see through that shit. Yeah, facts and that's what I was saying. I made a comment about uh you know what I'm saying, that's gonna come out and that's probably be controversial. I made a comment about NLE Chopper. I don't yeah. like I don't I don't, I don't like niggas like that. Yeah. Because I, I believe that they just, you know what I'm saying, influencing the youth to do yeah. dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. And he's not in the streets. I know. Yeah. I can see right through. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what a nigga think. He's yeah, not yeah. outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know this. You know what I'm Niggas like that. And that shit make me mad. The little techers that's going to tell you to go shoot somebody. Yeah. And then get on the interview and say, I don't even own a gun. Yeah. I, it's not me. So why yeah. are you going to say that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, wrong yeah. Shit. What are you talking about? You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's false advertising, my nigga. Yeah. And, and you know what I'm saying? Because they got really kids out here crashing out off your lyrics. Yeah. Crashing yeah. out 30 years, throwing their whole life away. And that yeah. shit pissing me off. Because you got yeah. my little brother, my little five year old brother, running around singing NLE Chopper, telling me he a top shot and he going to take a nigga top off. And yeah. ooh, ooh. And you didn't, he didn't even, he didn't even do that. <laughs> and then that my, my little brother get, yeah. you know what I'm saying, grow up and, 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 and catch a body. And I'm, yeah. I'm coming, I'm, I'm going to be mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Hell yeah. 
Facts. So that's how really how I feel about niggas. That's yeah. really how I feel about niggas in the yeah, industry. Yeah. I can I can fuck with that because a lot of niggas is not telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Not pushing a real. Story. And I ain't saying you gotta go dry snitching yourself, yeah. but just you ain't just don't be something that you're not. Yeah. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's how. And I feel like the criteria has been broken down to where now niggas ain't even getting checked. Niggas backgrounds ain't even getting checked no yeah. more. Niggas like one thing. You know what I'm saying? We was in the studio. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga was rapping, and then the first thing a nigga asked was. Yo, where that nigga from? And I was now like, that's some real shit. Like, yo, where where's such and such from? Yeah. Who his mom is? Where's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I ain't heard about it. I picked up on it. I just heard about it. I ain't on yeah. it. But, but I was like, okay, I'm around some this real shit, niggas. Yeah, yeah, this you know what I'm saying? Sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> like, yeah. fuck, fuck the nigga music. Where he from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Word. Nah, so, I can I can I can dig that. Yeah, I so like, I just yeah, I just think niggas should just I, I think we should get back to reality, right? Yeah. Now, and not just you know what I'm saying, giving just saying what these what the industry wants you to say and yeah. brain why you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, nah, nah. Industry do be trying to push some shit. Cause look, I was watching this uh, this video right there. It was talking about how most people in the industry push the message that black people should kill black people. There's yeah. never no message of white people should kill white people. Mm-hmm. They they never oh, yeah, trying to push that. drugs. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I'm looking at that like, damn, like we the number one motivators for killing our own people, right. but don't want to look back and point fingers at the other people. Or, you know what I'm saying, but and you know what I'm saying, and it's it's all type of music. And I, we could get into that too. Yeah. Cause it, you know what I'm saying. Even back then, back in uh, back to ancestry days, it was war music. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. From the beginning, when they would beat their drums and who you, yeah. you know what I'm saying. It was war. It's 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 all types of music. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but that's what we that's what we striving because that's all that's what we've been raised on. We've yeah. been that's what we've been taught. That's why our yeah. minds have been brainwashed to yeah. it. But if we put our minds to it, we can we can. There's people that that sing. There's the white yeah. There's the yeah. you know what I'm saying. There's people that the Roddy Riches that just promote yeah. the lifestyle. They don't you know what I'm saying. They, yeah. Everything is not about murder music. Now, but you do want to put the message across that if a nigga try it, it will go there. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying. And so that's I, some people like. So. Yeah, facts, and that's some people like. So. I want, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't knock, I don't knock, I don't knock a nigga, whatever type of music a nigga make. You know, just I just tell act, the truth. yeah, just tell the truth. Stand yeah. on something. Yeah. Just stand on what you just be. Stand on what you talking about, man. Just yeah. don't, don't have everybody else got them trying to crash shit that yeah, you're facts. not even living. Facts. You know what I'm saying, niggas? Weird. But, uh, <laughs> for real, man. 